What's up, guys? Jeff here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 Antheists. But before we jump into any of that, if this is your first time checking out my channel, this is where I talk about everything Reef Tank related. So if you love Reef Tanks like I do, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. Now, as far as Antheists go, they are some of the most beautiful saltwater fish in the aquarium hobby. But they require to be fed quite often, which can make it a little tricky keeping them. Not only that, they do have pretty complex social structures, which often you would see just one to a tank. And that really just kind of limits you as to how many of these beautiful fish that you can keep. But some expert hobbyists have found success with this fish by maintaining regular feedings and also having a one to three to four females ratio have found that this has been able to allow them to keep multiple antheists within the same tank. So as far as antheists goes and a lot of saltwater fish, it's important to make sure that you do your research prior to picking up any fish and bringing them home to your reef tank. All right, so let's kick things off with number 10. And coming in at the number 10 spot on our top 10 antheists is the red belted antheists. Now, as far as price point goes, this guy is pretty decently priced. You're typically going to find them anywhere from $30 to $40. As far as care level goes, they are moderate care level, which for an antheist, that's a pretty decent care level. Temperament, semi-aggressive. Now, with that being said, most antheists are really considered peaceful and the fact that this guy is semi-aggressive really has a lot to do with its breeding habits. Often males will become a little aggressive towards females. So it is definitely recommended if you're going to keep multiples of this fish in one tank that you have that one to four ratio of one male to four females. They are considered reef safe, can grow upwards of five inches and require a minimum tank size of 125 gallons. Coming in at number nine on our top 10 antheists for your reef tank is the Sunset Antheist. Now, as far as price point goes with this guy, you're typically going to find them for um, $40 to about $50. And you're going to pay a little bit less for those sub-adults or those juveniles and females because their colorations just aren't there in comparison to a male, which the male has some uh, great coloration, the pinks and the oranges and the yellows with that line that kind of runs across its back in a blood red. Definitely a sharp looking fish. And the reason that there's a difference between juveniles and females in comparison to males is these fish are sexually dimorphic. So there is a visual difference between females and subadults as in comparison to a male. They are moderate care level, peaceful temperament, carnivore based at. They are considered reef safe, grow upwards of three inches and require a minimum tank size of 70 gallons. It is great, and coming in at the number eight spot is the Red Saddled Antheus. This guy, definitely a little bit more pricier Antheus, and definitely a higher level of care. These are considered difficult. They have a peaceful temperament, carnivore-based diet, are considered reef safe, grow upwards of four and a half inches, and require a minimum tank size of 70 gallons. Now, the reason that this fish is considered difficult care level is due to the fact that it has a really hard time adjusting to a quarantine system where there's not a whole lot going on. It's basically just a tank. There is probably some pipes going on there, a pump and a filter. And the reason being that this fish has such a hard time adjusting to aquarium life is due to the fact that it is collected at an average depth of 100 feet. So think of that. There's 100 feet in depth. Not a whole lot of light going on. There's, you know, a constant stream of food for this fish. Adjusting to aquarium life is pretty hard for it. But once they do become established, they do pretty well and can handle brighter lights. But usually in a quarantine system or that adjustment period, it's very important to make sure that you dim the lights as much as you possibly can for this fish to have the best chance that it possibly can. Coming in at the number seven spot, you better get a personal loan for this one. The Blotched Antheus comes in at the price tag of $750. Now, this guy is a oddity at best and is probably one of the most interesting shaped Antheus on this list. This one definitely breaks the mold and will break your wallet just the same. 
They are moderate care level, semi-aggressive, have a carnivore-based diet, are considered reef safe, grow upwards of 6 inches, and require a minimum tank size of 125 gallons. And unlike most of the antheas that you will put into a saltwater aquarium, these guys tend to hover towards the bottom. Uh, that is due, due to the fact that they are often collected in very deep water. One thing that you may want to consider with this guy is that he has recently been aquacultured, so they have been bred successfully in a aquarium environment. So this price point, we will probably see it come down over the coming years. But if you can't wait and you got the money, good for you. Coming in at number six on our top 10 antheas is the Bloodspot Antheas. I had the hardest time not saying Bloodspot. These guys, as far as price point goes, you can find them typically from $50 to $60-ish. Uh, they are considered moderate care level, semi-aggressive in their temperament. They are carnivores like most antheas will be. They are considered reef safe, grow upwards of 5 inches, and require a minimum tank size of 125 gallons. This antheas typically dwells towards the middle of the tank, but definitely appreciates the Ability to have a number of different hiding spaces, little hiding holes throughout the rock work. Very important for antheas to be successful and feel comfortable in an aquarium. And you'll definitely find that they are much more healthy and happy in an aquarium that has those requirements met. Coming in at number five on our top 10 antheas for your reef tank is the square back antheas. This was actually the very first antheas that I ever saw in person. And I absolutely fell in love. As far as price points go with these guys, currently you can typically find them from $50, maybe $45, all the way up to $100, depending on where they are coming from and the size of these fish. There is, again, differences between the males and the females. They are sexually dimorphic. And even the females are pretty stunning. You know, not that I'm saying that females aren't stunning. I'm not, I'm not trying to paint that picture but as far as females are typically the duller of it the i'm stumbling on my words right now i don't know how to get out of this all right they are moderate care level semi-aggressive they are carnivores reef safe grow upwards of seven and three quarters inches and require a minimum tank size of 100 gallons let's move on Coming in at number four in our top 10 antheas is the Princess Antheas. Now, as far as price point goes with these guys, you can typically find them from $60 to $80, depending on where you're picking them up from. As far as care level goes, difficult care level. It has a lot to do with its feeding requirements and the fact that it is another antheas that is collected at very deep depths. They are difficult, which we already talked about. They have a peaceful temperament. Carnivore-based diet are considered reef safe, grow upwards of three and a half inches and require a minimum tank size of 70 gallons. Definitely one of the most prized antheas on this list. Definitely gorgeous and reminds me the most of a Swedish fish. Coming in at number three, Randall's antheas. Definitely a gorgeous antheas coming in at around $50 to $60 price point, depending on if you're getting a male, sub-adult, or male. Uh, as far as care level, moderate care level, have a peaceful temperament. Carnivore-based diet are considered reef safe, grow upwards of 3 inches, and require a minimum tank size of 70 gallons. Now, even though that we say 70 gallons, that's really for a species-specific singular set up male or just a female only if you want to keep a couple of these guys again you want to stick to the species specific and then you're probably looking at 125 gallons and this is one of those antheas that like to dwell towards the bottom of the tank and needs plenty of hiding places coming in at number two on our top 10 antheas for your reef tank is the leer tail antheas now, as far as price point goes for these guys, typically $35 to $45, again, depending on if you're buying a male or a sub-adult slash female. Moderate care level, semi-aggressive temperament, carnivore-based diet are considered reef safe and grow upwards of 5 inches and require a minimum tank size of 125 gallons. 
Check him out, the Lear Tail Antheus. And coming in at the number one spot on our top 10 is the Fat Head Sunburst Antheus. This is not only my favorite name, but probably one of the most gorgeous Antheus available to reef tank hobbyists. They are moderate care level, have a peaceful temperament, carnivore based diet, are considered reef safe, grow upwards of five inches, and require a minimum tank size of 70 gallons. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this one. If you want to check out my tour of the Dallas World Aquarium where I got to actually check out a fathead sunburst, check this video out. I'll see you over there.